What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Next Win Podcast with your host, Aunt Ma, co-host Justin Fasur, and special guest, the lender, William Wynn. Thank you all for being here today. Um, this is actually the highlight of my weeks is when I get to do the podcast with you guys. I love Hell that. Hell yeah. I miss you guys too. Yeah, it's you awesome. Do? It's like my, I look forward, monthly, my monthly visits, I'm like, yes. If you guys don't know, William is from LA, California, and he drives up, up here. Mm-hmm. Um, what time did you wake up today to come here? 5.30. 5.30 in the morning? In the morning. And I left, Damn. I left at 6 to get here. Well, I got to get gas and supplies, but other than that. Yeah. Like, is it easy for you to wake up that early? Uh, yeah, because my, my daughter wakes up early. So I see. So she has the char- characteristic trait of a wealthy uh, person. Isn't that what they do? I they hope all so. wake up at like 5.30. Yeah, they that's, work that's out. The thing. Wake up. Cold Not shower, me. Go cold shower, work out, and then, you know, you then start. That? Yeah, that's, that's the thing that they, they, they say they do. They Wake say they do it. And then there's always the gurus that say, um, there's there's the other guys that say, you don't have to do that stuff. That's all fake. You know, yeah, so I mean, everyone's different, right? Everyone's different. I wake up and they just go. But I can't say anything because I don't do those things and I'm not like a wealthy person. So I guess I should follow what they say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I go to bed at five. Damn. Really? No. Wait, for real? Jeez. So, I used to. I used to. I mean, used to. Too. Five? Well, I mean, I used to when I was like 21. Yeah, I used to play video games at like 5 o'clock What time do you go to bed now? Now? Bro, you'd be Between... texting me at like 1 or 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try to go to sleep before 12. Mm. By the time it hits 12, then it's like I'm probably in like a rabbit hole somewhere. Mm. Whether I'm doing some deep research or something. I sleep yeah. around 2. Mm. Sometimes I play hockey late. So I'll get home like at one thirty, and I'm... How do you do that then with your kids? They wake up at 5 30. That's three hours of sleep. Just do some dude, man. Just do it. Damn, Vietnamese people are crazy. You know, special sauce. That's why you guys got Vietnamese coffee, dude. Yeah, I see Vietnamese coffees. All what? right. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's move on to the actual podcast. Uh today we're gonna be talking about what is it, Justin? Uh our new builds, the new trend. Boo. What? Why are you saying boo? Wait, what? what? The new builds are whack. Because it's bad for lenders. Why is it bad for you? Because because we can't beat them a lot of times. Like beating, what I mean, what I mean is, uh, the new builds they usually have their in-house lender, right? right? And sometimes it's the same company. They just separated it, yeah. So they, they give like crazy ass discounts where like we can't match them. Mm. Like what? Like 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 this guy? I couldn't I couldn't do his loan. So basically, uh, every so half my clients have new builds. It is very trendy. I was yeah, it's like 50-50 nowadays. Before it was like 100% of people are just buying resale homes. Mm-hmm. No one's buying a new build. Maybe just one guy and he's like just the guy ahead of everybody, you know? But now everyone's doing it. And every client that I have that is uh buying a new build, I don't have William be the lender. We try. Uh, I yeah, I try every single time, mm-hmm. but it's just hard. And I use William for all of my deals. You know, anyone who's buying a home, they're going through William. But when they buy a new build, this is the best part. Like you get crazy incentives. Like mm-hmm. they give back like 10 grand if you use their lender. If you buy a luxury build, man, they're giving back like 30 grand. You and know? you're like free to use that towards free. anything? Closing yeah, costs. towards Close. your closing costs. Yeah. So it's Upgrade pretty much or... free. Mm-hmm. Or you can buy your rate down with that. Or you know, whatever down. you want to do. But I think it happens more here in Vegas. California I, I, depends on the builder and where what area. Because I, I had a couple done in California that didn't, I, I can, they didn't go with their in-house lender. Well, I have because one. Because they're loyal. Mm. <laughs> Damn. I was going to say I have one client in California who's buying a new build right now. Yeah. But we couldn't use you because, yeah. you know, they're getting 10 grand back. Yeah. That's so, crazy. Like, what's the most that you can give back? It depends on the deal, but I'm like, like, can you do that? Like six grand? Uh, I can try. Oh, that means no. <laughs> I, can, I can try. Like, you can, we're in the business. Everyone's in the business of making money, right? A profit. So basically, unless I work for free, even if I work for free, I can't. I can't match. You it. still can't do. You're losing mm-hmm. money. Yeah. So you got to do everything and still give this guy like another yeah, two grand. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, or do everything five for free grand. and then give here. Here's another three thousand. Thanks. Like, I, you know. <laughs> like what's what's the point of that? Send me some referrals, thanks. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, that's crazy. So, are they are new builds overtaking the resale homes, or? Um, I think it depends on the area. You see, William was just shaking his head. He's saying no because he's from LA. So in LA, everyone's buying resale homes because all the all the resale homes are in, in areas people want. New builds are kind of outside, out mm-hmm. the areas they want. So. Well, so like LA 
has become more like San Francisco, where it feels like you're surrounded by a body of water and there's no more room to build. You know, and I think it's just because LA is more old. Yeah. Right. Your all your homes are like 1950s, 1960s, and there's no more land to build on. That's mm -hmm. why they have ADUs that are now you you can get a permit for it. Yep. And prior to 2020, you couldn't do that, and they figured out well, there's no more space. People are doing it illegally. You know, converting garages and things like that, converting building back houses without permits. And so cities and counties were like, well, let's make some money on it. Might as well. And there's no more space. So that's why now they passed that law in 2020 to get ADUs done. Yeah, everyone is doing it. So Everybody. the other thing is like, imagine if there was an area, there, there's one area like in Montebello. Okay. Montebello still has a little bit of land because there's like hills and mountains and Toll Brothers uh, built a new community there. Wow. I didn't know that. Okay. Montebello is like, their homes look like they're 1930s. Okay. <laughs> really? They're it's, it's bad. old city. It's mm -hmm. really, really old. Uh, there's not much around there. They have a mall that's dying. I don't even know why the mall's still there. How far is it from LA? Uh, about 15 minutes from downtown. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like that's not bad. Uh, where yeah, Monty Park it's, it's like close together. and Alhambra is, but south of it. About 10 minutes south of Monty Park. Is it expensive? Um, it never used to be. It used to be the more affordable place, like how West Covina was. So a lot of people who couldn't find the homes in SGV, they would go out to Montebello because yeah. it was more affordable. So you're talking about a few years back, it was like three bed, two bath for about, you know, 600K. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, they're it's just expensive like everything else. Yeah, everywhere. And so the new bills that Toll Brothers has, they're million dollar homes in an area that's just whatever's, mm. you know? It so, happens a lot. They just build like rice homes in like kind of okay areas. Yeah. And kind of lock everyone out. <laughs> but, Go to private I mean, school. Montebello has some of the best stuff. You know, they have, uh, I think one of the first Alondra's hot wings. Have yeah. you ever had Alondra's? Mm -hmm. oh, have you ever had Alondra's? It's the best wings ever. Really? Best? It's the mm -hmm. best. Alondra's. They're the ones with like an hour wait, what? you know, for the restaurant. Now they have one in Alhambra and like other places. They also were one of the first AMCs in SGV that had the reclining uh, movie seats, reclining mm. chairs, and then you can reserve them. They were like one of the first ones. Um, Those are pretty baller. Yeah. They're everywhere now. Yeah. They have to be. You know, so they do have some good stuff, but um, it's just weird. So, you know, er cer certain areas in LA, you'll have one or two new builds, you know, but here in Vegas, there's new builds in every area. Yeah, you know, You're talking about... Summerlin, Henderson, Southwest, Centennial. Centennial Hills, North, right? Sky Canyon. Pretty much every 10 minutes you drive in Vegas, there's a new build community. It's like every yeah. corner. And then when that's done, there's another community that's opened up, you know? They've been building new, new casinos too. Like they're just building. Yeah, they're, they're just, building. just constantly building. Yeah. So here in Vegas, um, I would say most people are looking at new builds. And then if they can't afford it, you know, it's not within their budget, then they're looking at the resales. Mm, really? For or like um, a comparable resale is usually cheaper? Um, or are they kind of priced at the same? They're more expensive because really? you're paying for a brand new built home. Wait, the new home is a bit more expensive or the resale more expensive? Yeah, the resale. The new builds are more expensive. Oh, okay. So if we're talking about price per square foot, it's more expensive. So the house is a little bit smaller. Um, the yards are a little bit smaller, you know, so the space is smaller, but um, you're paying, yeah, like I said, you're paying for the new pipes, the new roofing, you know, your walls, everything. But I've heard sometimes the new builds are, are worse because they rush it, you know, so mm. they have all these mistakes and stuff when you before you move it's like a new build that's already problems and stuff yeah we're actually gonna dive deep into that on the next episode oh, okay, cool. you know in about a few minutes here but uh the other thing about the new builds uh it's more expensive per square foot but it's overall a new build can be cheap so there are new builds that are about four hundred thousand dollars yeah know, I've been seeing, I, yeah i've been seeing those starting right? though yeah you're talking about like 1800 square feet you know 450 and you still get 10k incentive back and you don't ever have to worry about your pipes bursting because they're brand new you know or your roof leaking because it's brand new 
So in terms of like, are they cheap? Yeah, four fifty for a brand new home. That's great. I mean, they seem pretty nice. Like uh, I've been seeing them pop up on like in Sky Canyon. Yeah, a lot of my friends live in Sky Canyon. Yeah, even though it's like uh, maybe a twenty minute drive to the strip. Yeah, uh, a lot of people don't like to make that commute, but people are. Yeah, I think it's it. too far, especially when I like to eat a lot of places in Chinatown. Yeah. And so that's like a 20-minute drive. But it's just so cheap. More north you go in Vegas, like you're talking about Sky Canyon and Kyle Canyon, Providence, just all these areas. Um, they even have luxury builders such as Toll Brothers. Mm-hmm. That's one of the best luxury builders, right? And they're the ones that build like $1 million, $2 million homes. On uh, other states, it's way more. But... They have, you know, in Sky Canyon, like 500K, Mm -hmm. a luxury builder trying to be affordable in that area. And it's freaking beautiful. You know what I mean? It looks like a luxury build. But when you compare to that and the other communities in that area that's resale, they're like in the low 400s. And they're probably built three years ago, Mm -hmm. you know? So uh, new builds are cheap, but the resales are still cheaper because Mm -hmm. you're paying for, you know, an old home. Yeah, it's like buying a used car or a Which car that's one. you know still on the lot. Mm-hmm. What are some of the top companies right now? Because I seen I seen one that I never heard. I mean, they've been around for a while, but for some reason I just heard about them. Yeah, uh, Lennar. Mm. Oh, I hate them. Really? <laughs> I oh, if you're an agent, you hate Lennar. Why? They don't, they don't so uh, they don't. They are the only builder that doesn't pay commission to agents. What? So when our client says, hey, I want to go take out this Lennar home, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm not going to get paid if you want this home. So, but I tell them, like, I'm like, yeah, let's go look at it. You know, and I'm telling you, if you like it, um, you can go with them, but I don't get paid for it. I'll help you as much as I can, but that's about it. Unless you want to, you know, pay me for some services to help you more, then sure, I, I can do that for you. What's the purpose? They just probably think that they can sell out their homes without agents you know they're trying to save money and not pay the agents and use it for themselves it could be their incentives are the same it's all profit it's yeah it's definitely profit you know um yeah that's pretty much what it comes down to like why isn't it like like me going to best buy to buy a product like why can't i just buy a home without all these like hassles yeah and Good question. Yeah. Good question. Yeah, like, so I'm, I'm curious why the system's set up that way. I don't know, but when you have like ten other builders that are giving, you know, two percent commission, three percent commission to the agents, like no other agent wants to deal with Lennar. Only when the market is like plummeting, then they'll start giving commission. Mm. But I so, think I think it's, it's just every it's just so much competition yeah. for the same product. Right, and then it's just every 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 builder has their own like discounts, right? Yeah. Like how much they like say the bigger companies get get more of a discount when they buy their materials versus the smaller companies. So it's just competing against each other. Maybe Lennar doesn't get discounts on wood. Who so knows? It's, yeah. it's, it it kind of reminds me of like I mean not directly, but the car dealerships. Like, do we really need car dealerships that mark up things like crazy? Yeah. Like a Ford Bronco that came out for like 60k is now 120k or something yeah Yeah. it's like what like do we need that no i think the difference is if you were to skip the uh going through the dealership to buy your bronco at the time when it just came out you would build it online and then just get it sent to the dealer and you're getting that price right but it's because it took a year and a half to make to build people don't want to wait so that's why they're marking it up like if you want it now you're gonna pay pay for it uh for for over the sticker price because someone else is going to do that right mm-hmm. or else you want to wait a year and a half just like a, for it's like you're building well i was gonna say it's like you're building a 2024 or 2023 car and you're getting in 2024 but what i heard is that you actually uh they change it and you when it arrives it's a 2024 car mm-hmm. for some reason yeah i don't even know how that's possible like would that be a, a applicable to a house um like you just build your house and then no they don't like, have that yet or you can just build it online and i mean yeah, you, you have to go in you can design I'm it i'm about to start a company bro you can do everything without being there 
You yeah. can design, pick the you floors, know, pick the. You can do everything through online. Yeah. But the there's still someone physically there doing everything for you. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's not like a car where you build actually build everything yourself without a salesperson. In order, you still need a salesperson that you you're in contact with. No matter what, is a salesperson, either an agent, yeah, or the in-house salesperson at the builder. So you mm-hmm. want to start that new business or what? I got so many different ideas. Let's do it. How do we do that? That's kind of cool. Building your own house online without a salesperson. Well, I mean, there's like uh, we have to get a lot of capital. like custom custom homes and stuff. I, but I, 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 it just all, the whole process, like home buying process, seems so complicated. I think that's why you need help. So, like with a car, you might not need a car salesman because you can buy it online and it just gets shipped. Um. But with the house, there's so much more variables, right? When you're talking about like maybe the contractors and the delays of all the wood or other metals and things like that. And then now there's the other center where they're designing inside your home. There's outside your home, inside your home. I feel like it's a lot more complicated than a car. It'd be pretty cool if we could start something like that. But it is just so complicated. Uh, There's so many outsourcing, even new builds. The builders, they don't even build it themselves. They have a project manager or, you know, a super. And this guy outsources everything. Yeah. Roofers, yeah. framers, window companies, electricians. landscape, electricians. Everyone is outsourced. What if you just created a, a in-house company? Why? Well, how come they? Well, they do have those. So that's that's your general contractors. Sure. So that's people like like, what? like my dad. He was a general contractor. He had his license and he would build homes from scratch. He has his own people, you know, and then you have another level up where people buy lots and they would build like maybe four homes. And that's what they do all the time. These contractors build four or six homes. So they stay within uh, what they can handle, you know, but once it gets to like a hundred homes, then I guess that's why they outsource. Like imagine Amazon just building homes. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like they like everybody, yeah. Everybody works there already. Why doesn't Amazon do that? Where's Jeff Bezos right now? They're probably they're probably working on it, dude. Building a home, that's sick. Like robots coming in. (laughs) I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we would want to give them that much power. Yeah. No. You know what I mean? To build a home, like to take that take over that market too. Yeah, take over that market, but like, uh, I was just curious. Like, is there a simpler way to all this stuff where? It doesn't have to be so stressful. It doesn't have to be like this. Oh, the, you know, I gotta make a bid on this house and blah blah. blah. Uh, yeah, it would be the Amazon way. I like that, as long as it's free returns. <laughs> Imagine thirty day return. I don't want this home anymore. Yeah, but yeah. I think it's the same thing though. It's, it's just complicated and and it just get out of control. Like, like like Black Friday, everyone just rushes in. Yeah, and yeah, that's why I think they have people to kind of control everything. Maybe bots. What if bots were buying the homes? Yeah. And now now people are reselling like, selling it for yeah, reselling. triple, like there's tickets. So how's you know? that fair? Yeah, see, that's, that's the problem we run into. There's always people trying to hack shit and stuff. I almost, I almost kept Or stuff. you can buy online and then no one wants it or they don't come through with it. The final well, I'm, purchase. I almost feel well, like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> right? It's too yeah, much. That, yeah. It's just too much. That's, that's a big question. Like two yeah. episodes. There's so many things I can go into, but. Yeah. But really quick, what are some of the best companies out here that... All right. Best companies are your nationwide ones. Uh, so you got... I'll start from the top. I love Tolls, Toll Brothers, TriPoint. Those are your two most luxury on modern ones. Uh, then you have um, Woodside, which is also really great. They do modern luxury homes, and they're a little bit cheaper. Um, then you have your more affordable, like KB Homes and Richmond American uh, KB Homes is great. They're affordable because uh, they don't overprice things like the luxury builders like Toll Brothers or TriPoint. Uh, they keep it within budgets. So any upgrades you do, it's almost at cost. That's why their new builds can cost about 450 to 500 instead of their 700 because they're not upcharging a lot of things. You know, they're buying um, a lot premium, which is the land and orientation of your house and the view of your backyard and size. Uh, that lot premium usually runs like 
I don't know, 2,000 to 12,000 KB homes, depending on the community, you know, and uh, where you, you have like your tri points and tolls that are like 100K, 200K lot premiums, you know, but. Have you heard of Pulte? Yes, there's Pulte. Uh, they do like three story homes a lot, um, which is great. Um, I would say your Pulte and your Rich Americans and any other names that you see that I didn't mention. Those guys, when the market goes bad, they will drop like crazy, like 100K off. Really? You know? What's the reason? You got to sell it. They can't sell. Oh, I thought. For some reason. I thought you meant like when you buy a house. No, like they'll, they'll have like marketing sheets where it says like 100K off, 80K off. Like over that, sound, like that sounds crazy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like does, your, does the value of your home drop because of that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But then when you go with your luxury builders, they don't do that. They just give you discounts. Like, I'll give you 50% off design studio. So any upgrades you want to do to your home, we'll give you 50% off that. We'll give you, instead of 10K for closing costs, we'll give you 30K, you know, stuff like that. So they don't try to mess with the community's value and mess up the city like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's just weird. But I, I like, you know, the first three that I named. Pulte is good too. KB, I love them. But... um yeah, Richmond American, I don't really like. Express, I don't really like. They're great. It's just, I don't know. They don't build as well. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I've seen a couple of those around. Yeah. So um, if you guys are looking for new builds or you have any questions on new builds, comment below. Do you want to buy a new build or do you want to buy a resale home? You know, made by your all American 1950s guy with the hammer and, and what's he wearing? This Long John's Farmers shirt. Sturdy. Great craftsman, right? Yeah, sturdy. Yeah. So um comment below, guys, and we'll see you in the next podcast episode.